Donald Trump needs me to respond to his glib and thoughtless and un-American remarks. John McCain is an American hero. That was former Senator Joe Lieberman in 2015 defending John McCain against attacks from then GOP candidate Donald Trump. Today, there was a funeral for the former lawmaker in his home state of Connecticut. You can see here Al Gore delivered a eulogy where he called his former running mate, quote, a great friend. Lieberman also served in the Senate for more than two decades. He died Wednesday due to complications from a fall. Joe Lieberman was 82 years old. Let's bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane for more. Um, Scott, thanks very much for being with us. You know, Senator Lieberman was someone who was on the Gore ticket in 2000, supported John McCain in 2008, and he was known for sort of taking the middle road. Walk us through how he will be remembered. Yeah, Lane, in the nation's capital, where there's no shortage of outsized, unique personalities. Joe Lieberman was particularly large and particularly distinctive. Nobody quite had the political trajectory of Joe Lieberman. And I think you saw that reflected and echoed during this lengthy funeral service in Stamford, Connecticut today for Senator Lieberman. He was a critic at times of his fellow Democrat Bill Clinton during the Clinton administration, ran on the ticket with Al Gore, then lost the Democratic primary for his Senate seat in 2006 and won it as an independent, endorsed a Republican in 2008 for president and has been a focal point of this effort to find a third way, a no labels candidate to run in 2024. Just different politically, but transcendent politically during the process. Hear what Al Gore had to say during the proceedings earlier today. I saw him ready to reclaim friendships that had been seared by disagreements, ready to look for ways to bridge divisions, ready to seek reconciliation, ready to stand for his principles always, even when that independence left him exposed to partisan anger. No surprise, though, Elaine, somebody who cuts one of those middle paths found himself at the center of so many deals, an orchestrator of alliances that helped major legislation pass of the moderates that remain today in this Congress. That's something they're also known for being the authors of legislation that, you know, actually passes into law. Right, which seems to be an increasingly rare thing these days, as you well know. And Congress has not been a friendly place of late for those considered moderate. Um, how do you think Joe Lieberman's legacy will sort of live on in what is now a very divided Washington? And so many of these moderates, who like to call themselves pragmatists, are retiring, mm. not seeing a tenable way forward in this uniquely politically toxic politically charged moment. Mitt Romney of Utah retiring. Mm -hmm. Joe Manchin, Democrat from West Virginia, not seeking re-election. He'll be retiring. And the dozens of U.S. House members who have recently announced their retirements includes a large batch of those deal makers, those moderates. Joe Lieberman's pathway is increasingly blocked in Congress as those who are following it are now departing. And, and Scott, you mentioned a moment ago, uh, Joe Lieberman was the leader of the No Labels movement. So what does his death now mean for that movement? Quite a dichotomy here, Elaine. He was the defender of No Labels against all the criticism it receives that it's going to skew the results of the 2024 election and play a spoiler role. Joe Lieberman, with his credibility, with his long history, was a bit of a shield the front line shield against that criticism, but he was no help to them in finding a standard bearer for 2024. They are getting rejection after rejection from people who they'd like to be their candidate, from Chris Christie to Brian Kemp to the people we just mentioned, Mitt Romney and Joe Manchin. They are really on a pathway to nowhere on finding a standard bearer. Hmm. All right, Scott McFarland in Washington for us. Scott, thank you.